going to insert a spreadsheet and you're going to call it distance and plant species but x and y is given x and y and go through the data 2 5 8 10 13 2 5 8 10 13 17 23 and 35 and 40 and 40 and then the y values are uh, 35, 34 to start with, 35, 34, 30, 29, 24, 19, 15, here, 13 and 8. So our data is all in there. We can stay in this window here and we can get all the details we need. We want the mean for each x and y. Um, we can also work out the variance or standard deviation for each. We can also work out the R value and the equation of linear regression. So menu, statistics, statistical calculations, and that option number three, linear regression, MX plus B, will do it for us. The X list, we've called it the X variable. Y list, we call the Y variable. Uh, it says save regression equation to F1. That could come in useful. And that's all we need. The result go into column D, which is where are highlighted and that's everything you need so mx plus b is the equation of regression the m is the gradient negative 0 0.7079 uh, the b would be the y-intercept which might tally with your graph and here's the r value negative 0 0.9648 that would classify as very strong negative correlation and as we scroll down we've got everything there um, i'm going to do something else here as well I'm actually going to go menu, statistics, stat calc, two variable statistics. Now this is going to be useful for our projects, our internal assessment. Um, we probably wouldn't need this for the actual exam, but let's give it a go. Okay, so here is what we might need. So the average for X is given there, 17, and the standard deviation is given here. 12.48, we use this little guy here, the sigma notation, rather than the S notation. And Y bar is the mean for Y is 23. And the standard deviation for Y, given with this little circle here, sigma, is 9.165. Um, and the R value is also calculated here. You can also get the medians and quartiles for both X and Y. Okay, so you'll need to have both of those functions available to you. The linear regression function here and the two variable statistics. It would also be nice if we went doc, insert, data and statistics, and we can actually plot a graph to see what it looks like. There it is. And we can actually superimpose the line of best fit here. If we go menu, we could go to actually analyze and we can actually plot function because, do you remember where it was saved? Do you remember where plot function was saved? Linear regression? F1. So if we just type in F1 of X, it will plot in our equation there. So you've got your line of best fit. And your graph should look very similar to that. And when you draw your line of best fit on your graph, it should look like that as well. Okay?